Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and we're going to play American Truck Simulator. Today we're going from Montrose to Flagstaff with 42,416 pounds of fish chips. We got the John Ruda's Freight Shaker or Freight Liner Classic. Got a uh, 3406B Caterpillar with 18 speed in it. And we're hauling his reefer trailer to John Ernest. Uh, looks like got 444 miles to go. It says it's going to take about nine hours to get there. Um, I don't know. This thing can haul ass if it wants to. but I don't know how long it'll take. Let's get in here, fire this thing up, and get on the road. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Uh, I'll get rid of that. There we go. See keys on. There we go. I haven't drove the old freight liner in a while. I thought, oh, I thought we'd give it a try. Again, we're using Project Next Gen graphics mods with the 1.0. 8.3 something like that hell I don't even know anymore Somebody lost a couple tires there on the side of the road. Looks like one blew out and there's two more just laying there. One's got a rim on it. I think it's my tire. That would suck. Go straight on. Would make it pretty interesting though if you had blowouts and stuff. I don't think that'd ever happen. Turn right. But. We can wish so, right? Okay, come on now. Stop coming any time. Or turn one or the other. Oh, we're getting it. We're going. We're gonna be going up and over the pass day, so it'll be too bad. This ain't a heavy load. We got plenty of power. Um, we got enough fuel. We should be able to make it. That steering wheel is bugging me for some reason. Damn, that just moves it over real far down, doesn't it? In between, but all right, we'll just take the way it is, and that must be the reason I have it like that. Shaker. Let's see what time is it is. One ten PM, so we don't have to worry about the headlights.
keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Easy with that gear grind. Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. Good old town of Montrose, Colorado. Keep right and then continue straight on. Go straight on. It's still going to be a slow go going through here because of the traffic. So we're going to try to do the best we can. Speed limit's only 25 until you get up on, on top of the hill and then it changes over to 40, then to 45, then to 55, and then it drops back down to 60 once you go on the other side. Cool though if they'd add seasons, like the leaves change colors on the trees and shit. Or something kind of like what a uh, farming simulator has. Then they'd be able to add snow and stuff in too. So. Sure, I'm dreaming again. The hell am I happen? See, the hell, the dude's still taking pictures. Every time I come through here, he's always standing there taking pictures. Whenever you ever leave, huh? been doing you guys been doing pretty good been doing all right doing all right
25, 25. to get like halfway through the curve I usually gas it that's the way you're supposed to drive it brake before you get into the curve when you're going through it you should give it a little push on that accelerator it'll help pull that trailer on through the curve on through you out of the curve braking in a curve is probably about the worst thing you could do in a truck Like you drive a race car in a way, you know what I mean? It's 45. Yep, break it before you get into the curve and gas it going through. Helps pull that trailer on through the curve. They don't want to get stupid with it, but you know what I mean. I used Jake brake going through the curb. It doesn't slow the truck down a, a lot like that. So it doesn't really have much of an effect on it when you're going through the curb. But but it can if you're going fast enough. It could do it. It, it, it would screw you up. Changes the stage of the deck break. Got three stages. Basically, you got your diesel engine is a straight six inch cylinder. Right. Well, they got V8s. But usually, let's just say they're straight sixes. So you got three stages on your deck break. You got two, four, and six. And what that does is how many cylinders are going to become the compressor, basically. We got two, which is two cylinders, four, four cylinders, then six is all. We got low, medium, and high jack Keep three. left. I probably didn't explain that right, but hopefully it didn't confuse you too much. Wake me up before I go, go. Hammer down. Kind of cloudy. My rain. Get 
tried to go between six and eight, and so just showing there's not a gear there, unfortunately. Go straight on. Local family owned motel for three generations welcomes you. Hotel Motel. Objects in the mirror may appear closer than what they are. Here we go. screwed keep right and then turn right keep right and turn right uh -huh. turn right Got you. What's our fuel mileage? Four point one miles to gallon. It's not terrible. That's not really all that good either. Of course it was. Just climbed over the mountain, so go that'll, straight on. That'll affect it a little bit. Still got, huh? I've only burned probably a quarter of a tank. Those are the differential temperatures. I was wondering what those two gauges were. Then you got your air gauge too, so. I'm going to play the new beta version of the game, the 1.48. Unfortunately, some of my uh, mods that I use, like um, the Reforma and the uh, what the hell's that right. other thing called? Pro mods right. doesn't uh, turn well, right. It has to be updated. That's what I'm trying to say. So I might just, I don't know, I might just, un, just take them out. Another reason I got the pro mod is so I can connect the road from uh, the states up to Alaska.
for trucking. Son. Seems like I got a pretty good match here with this engine transmission and differential. They seem to be working pretty good together. So it's kind of confusing there a little bit. It works, I guess. Yeah. My car just ran that red light. Station, way station, we gotta turn here. Go straight on. And of course we'd hit the red light. I'll put some lights on my bumper. Your sticker here. Okay, let's find a new route. You find us a new route. We're going to this way station while you're doing that. trucks and packed in there wall to wall and treetop tall buddy turn left
This place, this place is a bitch to get into when you got an oversized load. Turn right. Uh, see they angled the guardrail a little bit to help it, but still it's pretty tricky. People sleeping. We ain't got no time for sleeping. Get ready to turn left. Get you some of the high speed chicken feed, driver. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Go straight. Do 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 do. darker than King Kong's asshole up in here. Shit, hold on two cookies. We almost missed it. Something right there, I don't know what it is, but I don't want to run into it. This ain't dry. No way this is the right fucking road. It's not. We need to wind up next. I'll be a donkey's. next one you know what I think I've done that before once or twice too reality I shouldn't even try to stop I should just went on down and turned around somewhere so split second decisions
put some oil on that chair or something. Sounds pretty rough. Okay, what we got going on here? Not much. 65. Welcome to Arizona. I'll toot the horn, but I don't have a horn tooting button. But I got it. There we go. Let me toot that one. vehicle inspection. Shh, fuck me. Wait, station my ass. Recomputing. chicken coop anyway. Should be closed. Yeah, I know. I got a scratch on the bumper. save button or something. Happens all the time. It's like with trucks. I'll be building a truck and then look up and fuck, I ain't got no money for it. It's all my fault though. I should check before I did it. Uh, how are we doing on 
fuel. We're so good. What, 140 more miles? Little under half. Yeah, we'll go straight on. We can make it. Hope. <laughs> Our fuel cup time too. <laughs> I don't think you'd run out of that, but it's something that important. So I always fill it up after I get done with the load. Do, do, do. If 23 years and you're still only doing 10 miles an hour. That shiny rod, you know what he's about to do with it. Look at the traffic behind us. Somebody close the Walmart down. Attention on your toes. physics model and I don't know which one it is I got like 50 of them I think I'm using the one by serial block
in there too. Look like the fuel the aisle is full. Take the second exit. Oh fuck. Exit now. I should need to pay attention a little bit better now. I get sidetracked real easy. Thank you guys for checking out my videos. I appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. Good motivation. If you have any questions or anything, just ask them down in the comment section. It would be what mods I'm using or whatever. Feel free to ask. Staff, Arizona. Keep right and then turn right. Go to eat a raise hamburgers.
turned right. We're gonna turn right. We're going to. Oh no. Turn right, right, turn left. Turn it looks left. like it's going to be on the right. Well, the game's probably going to run a little shitty because we're in town. Jazz, but there's uh, not really much I can do to fix it until I get my new hard drive. Never mind. I'll find a new route. And I just passed it. Go straight on. That's all right, we'll pull Swifty. <laughs> Turn right. Here we are, safe and sound. Are we supposed to be going to Eddie's? There's a fucking car back there. My bad, the Dollar General. This has been one hell of a trip, and it was one thing after another all the damn way. I'm not going to try to back it in because we're going to be here another four hours. Looks like I got 451 miles, 12 hours, 53 minutes, 117.8 gallons of fuel consumed, about $25,400, and we're getting there almost now we're halfway to a little over halfway to level 41 there anyway thank you guys for watching i appreciate it, it means a lot to me and uh don't forget to like you too subscribe share and leave a comment down below we'll see you in the next video have a great day